welcome in, welcome in. This is the uh, conference room. It's in here where we have very important discussions about the business, our ventures, PR nightmare, emergency calls, etc. I am Victor Allen, and I am the CEO of Capital Group, a big multinational conglomerate company that essentially runs the entire world with our constantly expanding line of products and services. No cap, just capital. Now I'm joined here. <laughs> Boomer humor, love that. Now That's I'm really good. Yeah, now I'm joined here in this conference room with some of my oh, best. Of course, it's boomer humor. <laughs> yes, because it's the uh, workplace. Now I'm joined here. In the... I can't understand anything if it doesn't involve ruining the housing market. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, forty and balding. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I actually look like I'm. I'm like in my 30s, bro. <laughs> yeah, you do. You it's, look it's like a suit. president. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the suit. My fellow Americans. Now, now I'm joined here in the co- I'm joined here in the conference room with some of my best interns. <clears throat> I mean employees, and they're all hardworking members of uh, Capital. And while they are very replaceable members of the workplace, I still love them to bits, professionally. And at the of end course. of every month, we hold a little bit of a meeting to decide who's going to be employee of the month, and we do so by playing a few games. Today with us we have Evan, who is just chilling in a shirt. Greetings. Yes, we have Dank, who is in a bathrobe and a tie, because that is very reasonable clothing to have in the workplace. Jump, jump, fucking rip off. Yes. <laughs> and we have Fate, who is just vibing. Yeah, I, I think I gotta turn on backlighting. <laughs> yes, I have the ball, balls to actually fucking. That's uh, how my man have runs. A bathrobe and a tie. Yeah, good run. My faith is my shield. Yes. There we go. Now, you're all competing against each other for the most amount of points. I will award points to whoever I think has the best performance in each of these rounds. So you all need to act professional-ish and up to par if you want points. And most of these will be based on who does the best. So whoever is first place will get three points. Whoever is second place will get two points. And whoever is last will get one point. Is that clear? Yes. Good. As clear as this water. Yes. We're going to play the uh, first first game, which is Pro Tips. Now, I'm going to give short interviews to each contestant, and they have to answer my questions. But there is a catch. The contestants will get small strips of paper every 30-ish seconds, giving them completely random tips on how to act during the interview. And they have to do what oh, the paper no. strips say. Now, no matter what oh, it says, no. no matter what it says, you have to try and introduce it into the interview. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, now, God. I will, oh, I'm I, going to embarrass myself. Now, I, will, I, will, I will also clarify, if a new strip appears, you have to do what that specific strip appears. You don't have to combine previous tips into a new one you receive. Okay. Yeah. And at the end of the round, I will rank Unless each... you're a Giga Chad. Yeah. If, I mean, you can if you want to, but you don't have to. And at the end of the round, I will rank each employee's performance and award points as such. Whoever I think performed the best during the interview will win three points. Is that clear? Yep. Yes. All right. Good ah. luck, everyone. I'm going to start off with you, Evan. Now... Oh, God. Yeah, now you were responsible for making sure the launch of our new bottled water brand, Nyads, went well in the UK, but we've had to, we've, we've had some issues. We've had to recall all of our stock when it was found out that it contained illegal levels of bromate, which is a cancer causing chemical. Can you, can you explain to me how this happened exactly from your perspective? Um, yeah, so, hmm? um, fuck. Yeah, you you, f- you fucked up on this one. Yeah, it's a- yeah, I I, I, I kind of fucked up on this one. Um, the uh, the the reactor core blew up. There was goo everywhere. Oh shit! I- Wait, is that how it went? Okay, then then my my people must have gone it wrong because seemingly the factory received a larger than expected batch of a bromate, which caused the problem. Now, was this seemingly an admin issue on your end, or was it something else? Um. <laughs> God, my fucking kids, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And fuck. <laughs> it was fucking take your kid to work day and. <laughs> oh shit. Well, and they they accidentally ordered uh, ordered yeah, all no, the orders. <laughs> my kids, fucking stupid, man. Oh man. <laughs> but did did you organize the uh, take kids to uh, work place uh, or was it I, someone else? Someone else did it. I heard oh, someone else up the ladder. I, I helped. 
Hooded, hooded. <laughs> Yo, fucking hooded. come oh, thank on. thank you, Faith, for claiming responsibility. Oh, he no. claimed it first. He claimed it no. first. No, hold on. I know who did it. I think it was uh, the co-secretary, Marcus. Ah, yeah. uh, for fuck. Probably Marcus. Yeah, fucking Marcus, oh, fuck Marcus you, man. Marcus in accounting. Marcus always <laughs> fucks things up. Okay, well... Well, okay. Uh, I'm so guessing because what, he had one, one of his. <laughs> yeah. What? What can? Uh, well, I, I will stop you there. What can we do to avoid this issue in the future? Do you think? Um. I. Uh. Anything? Um. <laughs> I, Any resolution to this at all? I, I mean, it's it's a pretty bad I, mistake to make. Um. We we could try to balance it with something else. What do you mean by balance? What do you mean like, physical balance? What do you mean balance it with another? <laughs> Uh, all of the above. That's not an answer to the question. We're, we're just going to move on. We're just going to move on. Now, do you have any hopes that we can try to integrate a different type of bottled water into the UK? <laughs> like, may, maybe not... <laughs> maybe not... Maybe not mineral water or anything. Oh. <laughs> so many ideas. <laughs> no... <laughs> No, I'm fucking no. losing it. No, no oh. ideas. No ideas. Uh, um, like any anything different that we can do? Any different type of bottle water that uh, we can do here? Oh, <laughs> why did you bring the soundboard, Jesus? That's very loud. <laughs> I like to imagine he just has like a box next to him where he presses his buttons. He has just, a like, a speaker on the top. Yeah, exactly. He just has a little stash. Uh, I'll, I'll just move on. Uh, the, the UK population also seemed very unpleased with the fact that Nyads was essentially filtered tap water. What do you have to say about that? Um, funding? Yeah, so... What, what do you mean by funding, exactly? Can you specify on that, or elaborate we, on that? We, we, don't have the, we don't have an adequate amount of funding for the project. You don't... So, so you think our fellow accountant Mark? Did, did Marcus fuck up on your uh, budget again? Goddamn, Marcus in accounting fucked up. Marcus in again. accounting is. Uh, I know who's getting fired. <laughs> we know who's getting fired today. Yeah, right. Well, I, I, I think that's all I have to to ask. Thank you. This is all going to be published in a press message to the public soon. So hopefully they oh, take. God, please take, no. Yeah, well, hopefully, hopefully they take it well. Oh no! Dank. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What up? So, hey, so our record label audio tape is currently the powerhouse of major bands such as Sharp Division, mm -hmm. Purely Black, and Five Odd Rabbits, as you know. Yeah. What's up? What about it? Recently, these bands have started to complain on social media and stuff like that about how little recording artists earn from streaming services such as Spotify and Apple Music. And th so, do you think these companies? <coughs> do you think these complaints are justified? Uh, technically, because uh, the ac my accounting uh, officer that is at the moment working, or is yeah. now at the moment at uh, what is it? The, what Liam, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, at the mm. moment on leave. Yeah, uh, has been work trying to uh, work at home to try and get the <coughs> the like the payments and such uh, good. Right. I, the, I mean, I, uh, I, I, it has been taking a bit too much. Yeah. I, time, I, I, so I'm been, I've been been trying to like uh, rush him with this. Right. Right. Yeah. I've I've heard it's 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 a bit tough on that yeah and yeah but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I've I've gotten my people to do the research and according to it it takes on average four hundred and twenty one Spotify streams to even earn a single dollar in royalties. Do you think it's fair that Spotify pays like fractions of a cent per stream? Uh, hard to say. Mm? Oh, hold on. Uh, my phone's ringing. Hold on. Oh shit! What's going on? I don't think this is part of the bit. Nah. I think he actually just had to take a call. Wait. What the fuck you saying? What's going on? Oh, God, no. Okay, I need to put this with the CEO. Hold on. Uh, we have a small problem. What's going on? Um, it seems that the, <clears throat> the dumbass accountant has fucked up quite badly and uh, got the um, <laughs> money mixed up. Oh, oh for fuck's <laughs> sake. Uh... God damn accounting industry! <laughs> okay, uh... Marcus! Do whatever you... It's not Marcus! Wait, who is it? Oh! It's, uh, fucking Julia. Oh, that bitch. No, oh, oh, come Julia on. Julia and accounting. Okay, <laughs> Julia, fucking... Try to get Sorry. it sorted as fast as you can, because these guys need to be paid immediately. Okay, bye. Fucking hell. Right, well, as, as I was saying, it, it, like... It, do you think these platforms like Spotify can afford to pay the artists and record labels more per stream? Do you think? 
possibly if they have uh, 30, like, <laughs> if they actually paid the artist fairly. Okay. Do you think they uh, have, do you think they can afford it What with employees and stuff like that? Yes, but they don't want to. Okay, that seems fair. I mean, they're billionaires, essentially, yeah. So what do you think we as a company should do to pressure these big giants to pay more to artists? Give them more money or none? <laughs> that seems very, like, you haven't decided on what, do you think we should give money or should we not give money? Yes, but no. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> so, sh we should give money, but we should not give money. What? What is your fucking point? Give money to the higher being art, uh, into the better, better, better artists, but give absolutely nothing to the smaller, smaller ones because fuck them. So you think we should pay unfairly to those who have it harder when it comes to popularity and shit like that? Yes. Okay. Well, um... Even though that's kind of a stupid, but. Uh, I'm just no 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 no. I'm just gonna move on. Uh, now some bands yeah, have also on. criticized uh, other record labels for undercutting uh, their signees. Do you think our record label could improve on that end? Possibly. Do you think we are undercutting our artists? Hopefully, we can uh, sort out the undercutting. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That no, works. No, yeah. Have, <laughs> that works. Fuck it. Have, 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 <laughs> have the statistics shown that we are undercutting artists, or how? Uh, what What do you think is the? Uh, how much do we pay on average to each artist? Around uh, fifteen uh, to uh, what is the nineteen dollars? Uh, nineteen dollars. Okay. It's around wow. between those, at least according to li the last few months. Nineteen. So, hopefully, we can get Jesus. the undercutting out and give these uh, yeah, that's some heavy people the proper payment. Yeah, that's some heavy undercutting there. But yeah, thank you for that. I mean, honest to God, the music industry is a mess in general. <laughs> oh, hold on, it's Yubi again. Oh, for fuck's sake! What does she Hello. have to say? Yeah, what up? Oh, perfect. Good news. Okay, so you got it under control. Good news, good news, good and news. That's all I want to hear. Perfect. Yo, they. I'll let the CEO know. Shit, Julia okay. actually got them to proper payment. Okay, good news. Julia got it under control. Fucking dead. No, Julia got it under control. Lovely. Fucking. I paid the artist well. Good. Let's go. Good. That's probably gonna sting on my bank account, but all right. Now. Uh, I mean, you're a You're a fucking multi-millionaire. That's true. Uh, <laughs> Fate. Uh, yes. I, I will say, with with your help, we've managed to completely take over the smartphone market with our fub phones. That's mm. very nicely done there, yeah. But recently, we've had some scathing complaints about our latest phone models exploding. What do you have to say about that? Well, in a market, you really want to compete with other phones, right? Okay. So, uh, you remember when how Samsung phones would blow up? I oh, thought, yeah, yeah. I looked at that and thought, I can do that, but better. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah. in some of our phones, I implanted a small chip that would just randomly blow up, especially in charging. Uh, but but to a larger scale than those. It's, old is that Samsung true? Phones. Is that true though? Because I've I've, I've checked with the uh, with uh, our uh, tech experts and stuff like that, and they seem to indicate that it's seemingly an issue with the battery overheating and burning up. What is seemingly the cause of that issue? Do you think? <sighs> Is it that exploding well, phone thing? thing? Is, the battery sucks. The screen sucks. Yeah. We're using some like twenty seventeen OLEDs. Yeah. And the the goddamn budget sucks. Yeah. The people I work with suck. <laughs> the accountants suck. Everything sucks. You can just say everything, everything sucks. Marcus. Everything sucks. God damn it, Marcus. God damn it, Marcus. Like, okay. Uh, well, I guess we can try to get that sorted. Now, again, our tech experts say that we should invest more improperly, insulating the battery and uh, the uh, this, uh, design future phones to essentially give enough room to safely accommodate the battery's electrodes. Do you think that's in our budget to fix? Um, well, it really depends on how much we're going to be upgrading the battery, because so far, mm. statistically considering the battery usually has a 97% battery life and, uh, you know, just life in general instead of exploding okay. to other models, I don't think it's particularly required for the upgrade. And but with where, did you, where, where did you get that statistic from? <laughs> um, well, I asked some guy, some, some guy we hired like two days ago. What's his name? Um, John. 
John. He works at he works at the production factory. Down the oh road. yeah, number sixty nine four twenty. Yeah, 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 I got something that. like that. Yeah, yeah I, I, I forgot his number. Like, but yeah. no, um, <laughs> there's so many of them. Yeah. I uh, walked up to him and he, he talked, to, to asked me something about a raise or something. Uh, but I just asked him for a statistic about how long the batteries last. And then he started mumbling something. He might have been drunk. Uh, but that's besides the point. Now, um, yeah, I, I have to say though, it, it's it's been it's been a hard sting on us. It, like we've had to recall somewhere around 2.5 million of these phones, which has cost us somewhere around five billion dollars. What do you have to say about that? I don't think that's a big problem because we make a lot more a year okay. off of other departments. We can afford this. We can afford yeah, we can to recall these phones. Yeah, we can afford it, but oh, yeah, it's, like it's still a loss. Water. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a loss because in the It is a loss. Time, it, no, it it's... is a loss. We've lost a shit ton of money from that. <laughs> I think we, we need might to look be gigantic, the, but we still have a budget to fucking go on. I think we need to look more at the uh, the social benefits of having this exposure in our communities. Uh, it's some pretty bad exposure. Like there have been possible reports of people being injured by the explosions or the leaking of sulfuric acid, which is very corrosive. That's what the the shit that we have in our batteries. Should we compensate these people for any injuries caused by this chaos? No, yes, uh, no, yes, 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 definitely. <laughs> uh, we should definitely do that. No, we shouldn't. Yes, I totally agree that we should compensate them. No, we shouldn't. You, you seem but to be a, acting a little schizo. It, it, are, are you I, all right? It's, it's, it's fine. Are I you just, all right? I just sometimes I really think about people being in my room, people being in my walls. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, but that's calm besides down, the calm point. Down, I think calm down. I think the um I think the batteries are perfectly fine, and I think everything going on with the explosives and it's all fucked. It's all fucked. I gotta <laughs> tell you. Okay, it's okay, all okay. calm down and sense. calm down and calm down. We'll just end it there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully this just doesn't ha happen again. I, I will hold you to that. Okay. I can't promise anything. Okay. Well, I think it's time we'll to. I think it's time to review your performances. <laughs> Holy shit, this was really good. <laughs> now, uh, that was really fun. Yeah. Now, I think... Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry to do this to you, that, Evan, but I think I just have to give you one point. I think I oh. think the rest of them have done pretty decently on this. Damn. I think, yeah, no, I... I fucking suck. Now, I, that, I like how you brought in multiple characters into it, so I'll, I'll do that. I'll give you some two points for that. That was good acting. But I think I think the gold star has to go to Fate, who just fucking knocked it out of the park. Three points to you there, bud. Thank you. Let's go. Right, let's move on to the next round, which is Art Proof. Now, I have put you all on advertising duty. Every one of you has directed an advertising campaign along with a small crew of people. But I have to say that some of these adverts are a little... Odd, to put it nicely. Uh, none of you have seen these ads, but you will still have to try and explain them to me. Is that clear? Oh, yes. Yeah. Hopefully my uh, team has uh, made a, a good-looking ad, because if they haven't, uh, I'm going to fire them all. Uh, it might be good-looking, but it, from a different type of perspective. Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, I'll God. start with... I'm scared at the things my team has created. Yeah, Evan. Now, I've, oh, I've, no. I've, I've looked at this, and... I'm, I'm, I don't know about you, just to be honest, I don't think what- I don't know what you've done here. Don't leave your llama at home. <laughs> why- um, why a llama? Oh. <laughs> why a llama? That's my question. Uh, well, th that- that's a part of our new strategy, where, um... A strategy for- for what? What product? To, what? We're trying- we're trying to push a new line of... Or genetically altered llamas that are way or more tame and uh, okay we're, i don't remember um, starting up that venture of genetically modified uh, animals I, but I, okay i kind of went rogue with this one i yeah i mean uh, another thing why would you even have a llama at home i think like is it perhaps a reference to something you would have in your household perhaps uh it, it's i i tried to make llamas household pets <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And I don't know like, if they'd be the best household I, pet. So I'll be I, honest I, with you. The, uh, well, I well I tried, and I. I oh well, that's God, that, I, that's the best you can do. Uh, also, what does what do llama have? What do llamas have to do with any of our products and services? Just real quickly, like, like is, is it that new genetically modified thing? Because I. I haven't been. I haven't really heard about it. Although that's fair enough. We we launch like a hundred new ventures every single day. Oh, 
Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, um, I'm trying to spearhead the uh, or the whole gene modding, you know, or casually playing God, or that sort of thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know. And you or, thought uh, a llama would be the best way to? We gotta make our. We gotta make the flesh stronger. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you thought to... <laughs> promoting llamas was the best way to do it? Okay. Well, I think uh, yeah, I think the most <laughs> using llamas as a test group. Yeah. I think the most important. Uh, they share a lot of genes with humanity. Yeah. Just give me a moment. I think the most important question of all, when it comes to all of this, what's the point? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you for that. I will uh, I will take it as that. Now, Dank. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen this ar around my hometown recently. I've been back at home checking out my parents and just kind of water yeah. watering the garden. Checking out your parents? Yeah, I've, I've, been, at, I've been at home. And... Uh, uh, where do you live? Alabama? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. I, I don't know about this. Sexy gets the juices flowing. <laughs> <laughs> now... First off, first off, Dang, what the fuck? why a woman in underwear? First off, fired. Who's been fired? My whole team oh. for making that. So, so you did not approve of this? No, I did not approve of that. But I, I mean, I, what I should be asking the team then is, is this really what we want our company to be associated with? Fuck no. No. Okay. Fair enough. So you're, you're, you're saying that this was a mistake? In the, uh... What about the growing community of e-girls out there? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Now, sexy gets the juices flowing. Do we even have a product or service called sexy or anything flowing? Anything like that? I mean, we have the flow energy drink. Oh. Is that, is that what they try to do? I, I, don't, I mean, I know... I have no idea what I, they I, try to do, but it's something to do with flow energy drink. I mean, I know sex sells, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is still shit. Yeah, and and I think the most important question of all, because I've seen this around. If this were to go out of, outside of the country, do you think organizations like the British Advertising Standards Authority will approve of ads like these, or do you think it's no, they fucking won't. Yeah, okay, that that seems fair. Yeah, you seem very, very much. Uh, I hope you haven't thrown them completely under the bus and you didn't fucking orchestrate this. I have just uh, fired them off of, of my, uh, what is the art team, so Ooh. they still are working here, but they're not going to be working on my art team. Okay, well, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have some strong words with them later on. Uh, yeah, uh, Fate. Now, yes. I'm, I'm sorry to have to be rough with you, and I, I, it's, I, fine, it's, it's, it's only because I like you a lot. Like, you're, mm -hmm. you're one of the best employees we have when it comes to our advertising. Like, you're, you're mm -hmm. the best, bro. I know, I, I know, I so, know. So, 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 let me just ask. What the fuck have you done here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <the machine. laughs> okay. Yeah, could you please explain this to me? Can you please explain oh, this? Can you explain this to us? Okay, yes. Yeah. So, we have, a, <laughs> we have a, a new acronym okay. for <laughs> our just... potato brand. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, this new hip word that I like to call shite. <laughs> shite. <laughs> Shy tea, right? It shy looks tea. very bad, but shy tea is the name of our new potato I would, brand. I, I would think you would have shy an asterisk potatoes. between shy and tea. Yeah, but I think I think there was a little miscommunication. Well, what's miscommunication the team? I mean, or I mean, yeah, I mean, else, I don't you think it's a little disgusting that we're using literal feces to advertise our brand? Well, I mean, that depends on how you want to look at the word in 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 my acronym. It's <laughs> this beautiful. Um, this beautiful uh, breakdown of this cultural uh, nemesis of a word. With nemesis. A that's, a, that's a strong wonderful word. So you're technically food. saying that uh, shit what is basically fertilizer here. I, I, I mean, I feel like this brings negative connotations to our brand rather than anything positive, don't you think? Well, I mean... Yeah, it does bring negatives in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, no, shit. No, Fall think... into the shit. You're falling into the shit that is our company. <laughs> I, I think, no, because it's 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 a good thing. I say that the shit, the, the sorry, the shy tea is a <laughs> wonderful thing uh -huh. for our company. And okay, for now I have a feeling bird. that uh, Faith actually fucking put that in there, <laughs> <laughs> like a legit. What does shy tea even mean? Um, it, it stands for wonderful, hot, interesting taters. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Uh, yeah, anything else? 
Um, no, I, 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 I certainly I, lost faith in you, sir. Uh, all, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think I think I think that was a fairly sobering experience. Um, how the fuck did you get a, get a fucking drum set in here? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I bought that. And I mean, okay, so I'm gonna review the. Exp I feel like firing all of your employees. It feels like a bit of a cop out, honestly, Dank. So I'm, I'm, I'm only going to give you a single point. Oh, Doesn't sorry. Matter. I'm only going to give you a single point there. Doesn't uh, matter. You can't unfire them. Yeah, fair enough. Now, Evan, I <laughs> think... Cry all you want, bitch. You Evan, can't unpiss the moon. Evan, I think you did a, I think you did a decent job. I think you you tried your best. You thought it, everything would work out. But yeah, it, it, it kind of went out the window there. So I'm going to give you uh, two points there. And uh, Fate... I don't know yeah. how, but you somehow managed to take the words, <laughs> fall into the shit, and turn it into taters. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. That that acronym, oh I, I have to give you three points for that. Thank you, thank you. That's really good. Now, we're now going to play uh, emergency <laughs> meeting. Now, oh, there's fuck. there's been an, oh no there's been an incident in the office, and I've. I've called in on all of you to eva kind of uh, evaluate the problem. So I will ask you all some rapid-fire questions that you have to answer. You have to answer these. But here's the challenge. You're not allowed to give a straight yes or no answer. If you say yes, if you say no, or if you hesitate to answer my question, you will be eliminated from the round. And we'll, oh, keep, no. and we'll keep going until I question each surviving contestant at least three times, or until one person remains standing. And I will award points to Betty on who was eliminated first, second, or who survived. Is that clear? All right. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, let's get this started then. So, someone in this office, I don't know who it is, but it's frankly disgusting. They've been secret. They have secretly recorded someone having a wank in our bathroom and posted it to Cornhub. <laughs> frankly, frankly, I'm not. No laughing here. This is a. This is disgusting behavior. I'm not saying one of you is a culprit, but I will figure out who this. Who did this? Evan, did you do it? Uh, well, I. Whoever did uh, is clearly a genius. I don't know about that. Dank, did you? No, but I know. Oh, that was no. That was no. He said no. Fuck. You said no. I want to die. Fate. I think it might have been somebody from our you communications You did it. You, no, team. no, no. You did it, didn't you? Possibly. Okay. I that wasn't a might have. You might there, have. Okay. There might have been some sort of a. So you're admitting to it. I'm. I'm not. I'm, uh, it possibly. might be. Some, it might be someone else. Evan, have you seen anyone acting suspiciously lately? Uh, oh god, uh, I mean, well, Marcus from accounting is... <laughs> Marcus from accounting, I mean, yeah, I mean... He, well, y y you know how he gets, uh, you know, him and, uh, Pam and HR. Yeah, I I've heard. I mean, wouldn't you f be mad if someone filmed you secretly? Uh, I, yeah. Oh, hey. that was a yes, that was a yes. That was technically Fuck. a yes. I, I, I... I That's a tough one. That's a tough one. one. <laughs> it's a tough one. I couldn't one. worm my way out no. of it. <laughs> so that's three points to Fate there, two to yeah. Evan, and one to Dank. That was a <laughs> quick one. <laughs> I didn't think that would last more than two rounds. No, play on that is, it's tough. I nearly said no like that's three hard. times. Yeah. That's so hard. It's a hard it's one. It's a hard one. <sighs> now, let's uh, we're going to continue on to I Came Prepared. Mm. So I prepared a few... I came Lovely. <laughs> Perhaps you were the one who filmed. <laughs> yeah, I think it's you. Now, I prepared a few presentations for you all to showcase, but the thing is, none of you have seen these presentations. Your oh, goal no. is to improvise your presentation as smoothly and convincingly as possible. I will be your clicker, so whenever you want me to go to the next slide, you just raise your hand. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. yes, all right. Evan, let's begin. <laughs> Evan, you can begin. Hello, I'm employee 95448, and I've, I've, I've got some fucking statistics to show you guys. All right. Um, <laughs> things I do, uh, I, I, I've got some, I, I do a lot of fucking nothing, god damn. I, um, I... <laughs> Are you doing all right? I, I um I do a lot of 
things here at Capital Inc. LLC. (laughs) Capital Group. Get it right. (laughs) Capital Group Inc. LLC. Yeah. (laughs) Um, (laughs) What what things do you tend to do? All right, I'll move on. Um, I. Well, I, I've, I've seen, I've seen the things Victor does on an outside schedule, <laughs> and uh, I've, er, I've arranged everything here to basically tell you that our CEO is a dirty, perverted fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go on. Uh, this is a very, very kinky behind the s- curtains. <laughs> And, uh, I mean, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> he switched to a fucking uh, <laughs> walkie-talkie. <laughs> okay. Jokes on you. I will. Um. So I. T- oh god. Um. So I I found this funny little funny little pill the other day. I fucking took it, and it turned out to be LSD. And it, uh, I I kind of crapped out this thing here. <laughs> <laughs> it's very insightful. Yeah, very insightful. And it, and That's I'm, a lot of fire. There's some I'm grass. Glad you there's loved some leaves. It so much. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Um, thank you for allowing me to present this absolute train wreck of complete and utter fucking bullshittery. That was so good. Um, That's good. Oh, that was amazing. Uh, That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the end of that. Right. Beast weed is a kinky fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that is a quote. Now, uh, Dank, it's uh, your oh, turn. Oh, God. This is going to get a All lot right. of quotes out of All me, right. ain't it? Again, raise your hand if you want me to go to the next slide. Here we go. Alrighty. Welcome, everyone. Today, I have a presentation known as Why We Should Not Make a Shit Coin. Or Why We Should Make a Shit Coin. Well, we should make a shit coin. Sorry about that. Uh, read that wrong. Yes. Anyways, what is it exactly? Uh, hold on. Sip scalp. <laughs> the term uh, shit coin refers to a cryptocurrency with <clears throat> little to no value or a digital currency uh, that has no immediate discreditable de- purpose. Discernible. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about that butchering. Uh, okay. Kind of hard to read. Uh, the diminished value of a shitcoin is often due to uh, failed investors' in- interest because mm-hmm. it was not created in a good faith or because its price was based on speculation. Ah. Crypto is cool. Yeah, right? very, very cool. All right. Not exactly. Yeah, yeah. Why sh- would this work? According so, to so- stats that you can see right there, yeah. uh, people have no clue how crypto works. Now, you and want- I do. Yeah. And we're shitty, greedy people. Do you want to go to the uh, the uh, little graph you have here? So we have uh, Gugu Gaga on zero to, seven <laughs> year, zero, to not, zero to seven years old, of course, because they're babies. Yeah. Uh, no to eight and 13 year olds, but there's a little bit of yes, because some people can be a bit of a genius. <laughs> and then at 13 to 18, there's a bit more, since mm-hmm. they more, uh, have more IQ. Yeah. Uh, 18 to 24, still a bit more IQ, but uh, more Can no. you speed us up, please? <laughs> and at 60, 80 plus years old, there's definitely no's. Okay. Lovely. Uh, why? We hate it worldwide. We're hated worldwide, so why not ruin our reputation even more? <laughs> even though I want to uh, actually try and work on fixing it. Once you go crap, you never go back. I want to... I, HR, I want that fucking thing to be fixed. Anyways, the shit says never wash away. For fuck's sake. Sips. Go shit coin! <laughs> Not really. That's actually shit coin. That, that, that would actually be shite no. coin. Oh yeah, shite yeah, coin, sorry. Coin. Yeah, tater coins. Shite coin. Yeah, tater coins. It's the tater coins. <laughs> tater coins. And yeah, Bukatsu. finally. Irishman approved. And fi- yeah, <laughs> and finally we have Fate, who is gonna do a lovely presentation for us. All right. So, we're opening bank. All right. Go, 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 let's go to the next slide. All um, right. So we need a good plan, like a bank for coupons you've thrown up in the years, but you never used. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but this this is exactly what the idea is about. We yeah. Form it into a legal entity. So it would, it would, does anybody have any legal like? Capital Bank. 
Capital Bank. Capital Bank. Isn't that already Capital taken? Bank. I feel like that's a very common name for a bank. Well, Capital Bank num 2.0. I was thinking more like Shy T Bank. bank. Shy T Bank. Shy T Bank. Let's go with that. Yes. <laughs> we need to register the bank offshore because then we don't have to pay taxes. And without taxes, we make more profit. Yes. And profit is good no matter how you get it. Mm -hmm. Right? So we should open a business account yeah. and credit card, but I'm lazy. So I'm just going to like st steal Victor's <laughs> debit card. And oh, okay. I, I know his pen code. I, oh, I uh, hung a camera in his room yesterday. Uh, uh, but he doesn't uh, okay. know that. Uh, Next slide, please. Well, I, I do know. No, no, you don't. Uh, Let, let's look at these cute dogs, you know? It, oh. it really, it really um, oh. lifts oh. the that's, idea that's of adorable. me They're very watching Victor yeah. to figure out his credit card. They're very... <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, let's go to the next slide. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have to set up accounting. Even though we have a few accountants, they're absolutely horrendous at their jobs. Yeah. So we have to set it up ourselves. Yeah. We'll use Sarah, too. One of our federal <laughs> capital air flight attendants. Oh, yeah, that specific I Sarah. I didn't even know that Sarah existed, but sure, um, <laughs> we, we should get some permits and licenses and stuff, but we, we probably won't because who really is going to notice? They, yeah. They probably uh, think that fair we already have it, yeah. but it, it costs money and greed is good. Yeah. So uh, we could get <laughs> bank insurance, but no, no. No? Okay. We, we, we define the brand. Okay. Capital. Capital. Shy T and capital. Yes. We put all together and then it's capital Shy T. Capital Shy T. That's, that's, that's a new yes. company capital name. Or Shy T Capital. Shy T Capital. That works too. That's a I've good merger. I already set up this website with HTML. Lovely. And with my ba very basic knowledge of HTML. Good. It actually has like the title written in Comic Sans because people like that online. Oh, brilliant. Comic like Sans? Some shitty art, like blue and yeah. red because they contrast. Two, and 2000s really nice. internet times, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah, beautiful. It doesn't look like a website on fires at all. And phone. Sis. All right. <laughs> Join me in making this business venture work and adding more greed to our capital. Hey! Brilliant. Dank does not guess, seemingly. Let me guess. Finn is going to get three points again. <laughs> I really, I really like Evans, though. <laughs> I really like. You like Evans? All right. <laughs> Evans was. Yeah, funny Evans. Though. Evans was funny. Yeah, I think. Uh, Dank, that's going to be a one pointer. For, oh shit! So I keep forgetting my controls. That's going to be a one pointer for you, Dank. Evan, that's two points. Aww. Three points. I was fucking right. <laughs> well, it's it's not all lost yet because we're playing, but we're 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 playing up Bruh. to date. It's time for the final round, which is called up to date. Now I'm a busy oh, man. Yes. I'm very busy, and I can't follow up on everything that goes on on the news. And it, besides, the news recently has just been so dreadful that I'd rather just hear something more fun. That's why I've given my fellow employees here the objective of updating me on the recent news, but incorrectly. <clears throat> I'm going to ask each of you quick-fire questions about recent events in the world, and I want you to answer them, but you have to give me incorrect answers to the questions to earn points. You will have 60 <laughs> seconds each to answer questions, and let me tell you, there's a lot of points that, you, that can be won here. Is that clear? Yes. All right. We'll begin with you, Evan. Do you think you're ready to answer these questions? Absolutely not. All right. So again, remember, <laughs> wrong answers only. That's how you get points. Your time starts now. What is the name of this award ceremony where Chris Rock got slapped by this Will Smith? Uh, death, defiance, and drugs. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> what did Will Smith yell to Chris Rock twice after slapping him? Shut the fuck up, you lazy bitch. All right. Incorrect. What is Putin's first name? Uh, Putin. <laughs> Ferrara had to recall some Kinder Chocolate products because they could be a be from a batch which was contaminated with what? Uh, water. Incorrect. <laughs> Kinder Surprise Eggs are banned in America because kids could potentially what? Uh, eat their own shit. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Biden unveiled plans to extend the availability of biofuel blends of gasoline to help do what? Uh, shit your pants. Alright, perfect. Universal <laughs> Music has bought the entire uh, song catalog of which rock king of rock and roll artist? Uh... All right, incorrect. What new channel is being sued for falsely claiming that voting BBC. machines were rigged? <laughs> incorrect. I'll give you that one. <laughs> BBC. BBC. I, I was thinking for a second it might actually be BBC. That it was. Uh, it was Fox News. So that was incorrect, and that's no. a point. 
<laughs> yeah, so so far, what's the name of the award ceremony where Chris Rock got slapped the Oscars? What did Will Smith yell to Chris Rock twice? Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. What is Putin's first name, Vladimir? Although it should be shithead. Ferrara had to recall <laughs> Kinder Chocolate products because they could contain a batch which was contaminated with salmonella. Kinder Surprise Sticks are banned in America because kids potentially choke. Biden unveils plans to extend the availability of biofuel plans to lower fuel prices or cut reliance on foreign energy sources. Universal Music recently bought the uh, song catalog for Elvin Pre- Elvis Presley, and Fox News was being sued. Now, Dank, we're going to continue from where we left off, where uh, Evan didn't get there. So, yeah, I still have a big list of questions here. But Dank, I, I, Alrighty. I want you to listen to the entire question and then tell me a wrong answer for each of one of them, because that's how you get points. Alrighty. Your time starts now. What video sharing app has managed to surpass the combined re- ad revenue of Twitter and Snapchat? Monster Energy. <laughs> Incorrect. Elon Musk had recently become a top shareholder and board member, but shortly after abandoned to join to join the board of what social media platform? Mark Blair. <laughs> Mark Blair. Okay. <laughs> Singer songwriter Ed Sheeran recently won a ca- uh, case in court over whether a refrain from one of his hit songs had been lifted from another artist. What's the name of the song that he was being sued over? Piss basket. Lovely. Uh, China's top offshore oil and gas producer is preparing to stop their operations in the UK, Canada, and United States over fears of their assets being subject to what? Uh, piss. <laughs> All right, incorrect. Mastercard and Nexo say they have teamed up to launch the world's first ever payment card backed by what? Comboard. <laughs> Comboard. Incorrect. Russian users on Netflix are suing the streaming giant for what reason? Shit internet. Shit internet. Years of hard work are paying off for a car brand that had been had a stellar start to the Formula One season. Ah, uh, that's stop there. <laughs> <laughs> you got 11 points there. That was not bad. That was not bad. Yeah, I can go through the questions here. So, what video sharing uh, app has managed to surpass the combined ad revenue? The correct answer was TikTok. Elon Musk almost became a, a board member of Twitter. Singer songwriter Ed Sheeran was sued over Shape of You because it apparently had a similar uh, refrain to another song. Um, China's top offshore oil and gas producer were fe- was fearing sanctions. Uh, Mastercard and Nexo, they have teamed up to launch a first uh, payment card backed by crypto. And Russian users of Netflix are suing the streaming giant for leaving the Russian market. Fate. Uh, yes. You only need about three, <laughs> three <laughs> correct basket. answers here. This basket. You need, this basket. You need only three correct answers here to win. But uh, yeah, I wish you good luck still. Your time. You three incorrect answers. Yeah, three incorrect <laughs> yeah. answers. Yeah. Your time starts now. Years of hard work are paying off for a car brand that had a solar start to the Formula One season. What car brand is it? Um, uh, John's Cars. John's Cars. Incorrect. Which infamous baby one more time artist is expecting to have a third child? Um, Katy Perry. Brilliant. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson was fined for breaching laws that the government enforced to curb what? Stabbings. Stabbings. After three after a three year long investigation, the British Com- Competition and Markets Authority has secured commitments from two gaming giants to make it clear that how they automatically renew their online gaming subscriptions. The two companies were Sony and who else? Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> a lot of emotion was spotted amongst people when New Zealand opened up their borders for Australians for the first time since mid 2021. Why were the borders closed before? Because New Zealanders hate Australia. Incorrect. Two Texas power companies have let have had to file for bankruptcy protection in the wake of last year's historic winter storm. Bankruptcy is usually known as Chapter what? Bankruptcy. Uh, chapter five. Chapter five. Russia's invasion of. That's the end of it. <laughs> and ladies and gents. Russia's invasion of. <laughs> that's the end of it. <laughs> So, Russia's invasion of piss world. Piss world. So uh, piss world. the car brand was Ferrari. Infamous baby one more time artist is expecting to have a third child is Britney Spears. UK Prime Minister broke laws that the government enforced to curb COVID-19. Uh, Sony and Nintendo had had to, uh, they signed a commitment. And uh, the borders were closed in, for New Zealand and Australia to curb the spread of COVID. And it's known as Chapter 11 bankruptcy when you go bankrupt in the United States. Ladies and gents, we have a winner. Yay. <laughs> so Dank is third place with 11 points. Evan is second place with 15 points. And Fate is the winner with 18 points. Congratulations. You are now the employee of the month. And for the rest of you, I want to see you working harder than ever before next time. Again, you're all easily replaceable. Uh- <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll try harder with my gene modded llamas. Good luck with that. 
And you know what else is replaceable? The cameras in your room. <laughs> you know what else is replaceable? Your fucking lungs. Oh. <laughs> That's been no. the conference room. I've been joined by Evan, Dank, and Fate. Uh, I've been Victor Allen, and I hope to see y'all later in the cafeteria. This meeting is now dismissed.